Hi everyone, welcome back to my channel, Testing Mini Bytes. I am your friend Amazon Shaktiwe, and this is part five of the framework development videos and part fourteen of the entire video. So in the last two videos, we have set up ESLint and Prettier, and in this video, we're gonna set up Husky. I'll I'll explain what is the use case of Husky. Um, so basically, uh, when we we set up ESLint and Prettier, but it is when we are working with a team, we cannot expect everyone. To really gently format their code and push it to remote. If the code code get pushed to remote and then merged to main, somebody else you know pulling the code and correctly formatting, uh, then their commit will show there are a lot of file changes. Even though they haven't touched those files, uh, the prettier would format them. So it is very important for everyone to format their code. But how can we make it as mandatory step? Because so whenever somebody codes, they normally commit their code, right? So that's when Git, Git hooks comes into picture. So we have uh, hooks here where we could go and you know alter the pre-commit dot sample here. But these are all like pretty complex stuff. So we don't want to do this all this by ourselves. And that's when Husky comes into picture. Um, so if you guys notice, we have few scripts. Uh, so let's say if you want to run um, format check, let's say I want to check whether the uh, formatting is proper or not, right? So npm run format is the uh, script and this is what it executes, right? Instead of typing everything, you could execute this, right? If you want to fix uh, the existing formatting errors, you could use uh, format for the fix. So these scripts are really handy. I have already created them to save a lot of time. Um, and now, uh, so we want to run these checks, okay? So we want to run this check and this check basically before somebody commits their code, right? So that we let them know Hey, there is a problem with your code. Either it is because ESLint is throwing error or your pretty errors, you, your code isn't properly formed. In order to do that, uh, the Husky, Husky helps us, right? So if you go here, Husky enhances your commits and more, right? So basically, it, it you know, it, it supports all the 13 client side Git hooks. For example, you know, there are a bunch of Git hooks like um, a Git hook and apply before you apply a patch pre-commit. So this is what we are going to use. Before somebody committing the hook, we are going to execute some commands and block them from committing if there is a problem. As simple as that, right? So in order to make this work, we want to first um, install Husky. Let's go ahead and do that. So once Husky is installed, what they are saying is uh, do a Husky init. What it does is this init command automatically goes and creates a pre-commit hook in the .sq folder. And it also creates a prepare script in the package.json. So let it do all of that, right? So we don't have to do any of these by ourselves. So let's go ahead and do this. So now what it does is there is a prepare script that calls Husky, right? And also it creates a new Husky folder where this pre-commit is running npm test. So if it runs npm test, it's gonna run this particular command, but we don't want to execute all the tests. Instead, we want to execute um, this npx lint and the format, right? So let's go ahead and do this. So npx um, run lint and so we want to run both the commands. So npm run format, right? So you want to run both these commands. That's it. And it will automatically would have uh, changed this pre-commit uh, thing here. So yeah, let's try to commit a file with the problem. Let's say I have this uh, formatting issue. And I also have, let's say, um, const a, and I don't do anything about it, or let's say I keep it as well. I have an unused variable. This is a problem with ESLint. It won't allow you to have unused variable. And there is also some formatting issues. Right. Let's try to commit this particular file. Right. So let's say I don't want to commit any of these. Um, and then I just want to commit this file. Right. So let's say uh, create add employee test. I try to commit this. So it says there is a problem. And let's go ahead and check what it is. So see, this tries to do the lint check. So it runs npx es lint dot in the current directory and it found there is an unexpected where. Um, so you should use either let or const instead of nowhere. So there is a nowhere rule that is failing 
at this particular line and it's asking me to remove it. So let's go ahead and remove it. And let's try to commit it again. And this time, uh, this check, formatting check have actually failed. It says code style issues is found in the file, run prettier to fix it, right? So now we, we can go ahead and fix it by ourselves, right? So that's when um, the form of code fix comes into picture. Now this formatting issue is fixed. Now, if I try to commit the file, no errors and all these things are committed. Again, guys, we could have a GitHub workflow that checks for your ESLint errors and formatting, but it's always good to have this check in your local so that you can save your GitHub workflow minutes, right? You run your workflow, you fetch all the GitHub repository, do all the stuff, and then you realize there's a formatting error uh, based of time. So please do that first in your local, and that's when ASCII comes to the picture. I hope this is useful. Uh, you could you, you could basically uh, play around with ASCII. There is a lot of uh, stuff that you could do. Um, you can go ahead and do that. Again, there is an option if you want to um, skip this particular check. Like let's say for some reasons, um, this prettier and uh, ESLint is blocking you from committing. In those cases, you could do no verify. So let's say um, get commit and then let's say I put uh, forcing a fix and then this is hyphen hyphen no verify. So if you use a command like this, then it won't, even though there are problems with ESLint and, and prettier, it still allows you to commit your code. In, in this, use this only when, you, when there is an urgent need or something like that, right? So that's all about it. I'll see you guys in another great video. Until then, talk about the way from all of them. Bye -bye.